Chapter 1. Ava. Presente. Quantico, Virginia. The minutes keep ticking. I know, I've counted all 120 of them. They're trying to rattle me with one of their basic ploys. Always keep your opponent off guard. It's law enforcement's initial interrogation tactic. Well, technically, the first tactic is to establish a rapport and roll out the Kill Him With Kindness Act. However, since federal agents had me in cuffs as soon as my plane landed, I'm pretty sure they skipped it and went straight for psychological manipulation. Their whitewashed concept of torture is to keep me locked in an office for two hours. I want to laugh, but it isn't even worth the effort. Two hours is nothing. I am fully clothed, and I'm wearing shoes. My hands aren't bound to this chair, and I can see the sky right outside the window overlooking Quantico. The door behind me opens, then slams, but I don't flinch. Keeping my eyes forward, I ignore the intrusion until FBI Section Chief Dunning stomps around the oversized desk in a storm of heated fury and arrogance. Everyone dies. No matter who you are or how much money you have, eventually your time's up. Depending upon whose path you cross, it may come sooner than you expect. That's where I come in. Once a name is on my list, that's it. Game over. There's no negotiation, no begging, no deals. The amount I'm paid determines whether the ending comes quickly or piece by piece. It makes no difference to me. Lucky for Robert Lancaster, it's arriving in one clear shot to the head. All the lights are off on the 10th floor office building except for one, so I walk straight toward it. I don't bother hiding my presence. What's the use sneaking around like some common thief? It's not as if the end result will be any different if he hears me coming. 